Hello all, welcome to this video. Today we are going to build a smart question answering bot that can read PDFs and answer our questions that is powered by Langchain and Grok Lightning Fast Llama models. We all know Llama is computationally intensive but we are going to make this work possible for us in our Google Colab itself through the Grok API platform. As of now, Grok API uh, uh, key is free so you can grab your key by having a, your Google account and we can access these Llama models. If you're new to generative AI or curious how LLMs can interact with real documents, I hope this video would be useful for you. We will walk step-by-step step through loading a PDF. Today, I have chosen a user uh, manual for air conditioner, that is IFB air conditioner. We'll turn that PDF uh, into a searchable knowledge base and we let the Llama do the answering for us. So let us decode the power of retrieval augmented generation in action. So before uh, jumping into the code, so I thought like uh, getting a, a quick uh, view of the understanding the concepts of RAG would make the things better. So a user, when, when a user gives a query to their own knowledge base, this knowledge base is built by using multiple documents. But in, in our today's uh, QA bot, it is only a single PDF. But in most of the cases, it is more than one document. The user wants to ask a query and search the knowledge base to get some insights out of the data. This happens in the enterprises. So for uh, analyzing the performance of the employees or uh, the clients or whatever use cases, they wanted to uh, search their own knowledge bases. And this, uh, after searching this knowledge base, we get the relevant document. So we can have any query uh, document matching mechanism for this. And this retrieved documents, in our case, it is going to be retrieved relevant sentences plus the user given query is passed on to the large language model. This large language model can be any enterprise built model. Today, we are going to use Llama. And this is already built, uh, pre-built by the by training on massive data set that is already done by the uh, large enterprises. So that we don't have a part here. And this large language model digests the given a uh, user query plus the relevant responses and generates a coherent answer. This coherent answer that is generated is uh, uh, compatible with the capabilities of this large language model. If the user wants a graphical uh, representation as, as a form of uh, uh, answer generation, if, if at all that cap capabilities are there with the large language model, then it is possible. So what I'm trying to convey here is that the answer that is generated by the uh, user is based upon the capabilities of this large language model. So yeah, so this is slightly different from the fine tuning. So in fine tuning, the model tries to learn the uh, domain um, of this knowledge base. So here there's no learning. It is only trying to coherently generate the answer based on the query given by the user and the uh, responses, the collective re responses that is already uh, um, uh, given by the search uh, mechanism. Uh, so it is only uh, coherently generating the answer. It is not doing any learning here. So that's the difference between uh, RAG and fine tuning. This is the code overview. Uh, so we'll first load our PDF. That is the air conditioner user manual. So by using this PyMu uh, PDF library. And we'll read sentence by sentence and we'll chunk them into character. So we will have the chunk size to be 500. We can tweak these numbers as per our requirements. And each chunk will have 50 character overlap so that the context is continuous. So to get a better understanding of the context. And once we convert this into a chunk, we will have to convert them into a semantically rich representation. We call it as an embedding. So we use, we've already seen what an embedding uh, is in our earlier videos. So the embedding uh, helps us to understand the semantical depth of each and every words present in this chunk. We are going to use all mini LM L6 V2 for this purpose. It's a lightweight model. So you can use your own embedding creation, uh, large language model to create this embedding. Once these embeddings are created, they are organized and uh, by the Chroma DB. So which is a vector database for, um, uh, uh, for effectively storing the uh, embeddings. So primarily it indexes in an organized fashion. Then we used Retriever to match the given query, uh, given query uh, uh, by the user and retrieve the relevant documents. And once that is uh, retrieved, we pass the query and the retrieved uh, sentences to the Llama through the Grok API. So this is the overall um, uh, flow of the code. So now we will get into the code.
Okay, so let us run this code. So first we will uh, load the uh, input, so that is the user manual. So I've already done this, but I'll uh, done along with you. So once again, I'll do it for better understanding. Just go to the folder symbol, click here. So you can load the input file. So meanwhile, it is loading. I'll show you how the file looks like. So it is a 36 pages user manual data. So let's see like how we can actually interact with this PDF with our Llama. So it is done. All right, so I've given this uh, Google Colab link in the uh, comment uh, description section. So I've only given view permission. As I always say, you can edit it by going to file and save a copy in Drive. It will create a copy for you and you can edit it. All right, so the file is loaded now. So uh, uh, meanwhile, I'll uh, run these, uh, uh, I mean, uh, um, uh, libraries. I'll just explain what these libraries mean. So this pip install is an instruction to install all these libraries so langchain so langchain is nothing but the powerful framework that helps us to build applications with large language models it provides all the tools to connect the large language models uh, manages memory and chains chains are primarily the sequence of tasks that we are doing with the large language model like giving the prompt and getting the response so this is nothing but the chains so this Langchain community is nothing but the extension package that we have that is includes uh, that includes integrations that is contributed by the community. So we need to use these ChromaDB, PyPDF, and Grox that like those functionalities are uh, contributed by this community and that is uh, inherent here. So Langchain Hub gives us the access to reusable chains and prompts that is shared by the other developers. So we can load our pre-built workflows instead of building something from scratch. So that's why we have this Langchain Hub. And ChromaDB, we already know. So it's a vector database. PyPDF and PyMuPDF are the PDF libraries um, which uh, helps us to uh, extract the contents from the PDF. So this PyMuPDF is like uh, slightly like more sophisticated this Py, than PyPDF. This uh, PyMuPDF helps us to um, uh, extract contents with layout awareness. So let's say we have contents with in the multiple column format or in table format. So we need to extract data with that layout awareness so that this is able to do. So Grok, we already know. Uh, it's a platform through which we are uh, interacting with the uh, uh, large language models. In our case, it is uh, Llama. All right. So then we are uh, uh, upgrading the um, Langchain package. So this we can do it like when we are thrown with the error of like module not found. So we already have some Langchain um, package and it is not upgraded as per the compatibilities, existing compatibilities of our Python package, we can uh, run this. So I got an error, so I'm just running it once again. So yeah, so this is also done. So this is Langchain Grok, so just to interact with the Grok platform. Yeah, so that is also run. So th this, I've already run this by giving my own uh, API key. So you can use this platform. This is what I was talking about. So you can uh, grab your API key by logging into the uh, Grok Cloud uh, using your Google account and give your API key. I'm run, not running this um, because I've already done that. Okay, so this is the actual uh, chat Grok syntax that we need to run uh, to interact with a large language model. So yeah, so this is the main code. So um, where we try to interact with the PDF. So this is the PyMU PDF loader that we were talking earlier. So it, will sell, it helps us to extract the contents from the PDF. And then we have text splitter, recursive character text splitter, so which uh, um, chunks the sentences that is read from the PDF. And then we have ChromaDB, so to organize the, in an organized fashion to keep the embedding. And hugging face embedding we have. Uh, so like uh, to convert that into a richer representation. And retrieval QA, uh, retrieval QA, so which helps us to match the query uh, given by the user with the uh, documents. Okay, so now we have uh, given this path. So how did I get this path? Just go here, copy path, paste it. So that's how I got it. Okay, so I'll run this. Meanwhile, we explain about this code. Um, yeah, so then, uh, yeah, we call this text splitter. We give the chunk size to be 500. So we can pick these numbers and uh, so we are splitting the, uh, uh, yeah, so we are, we are passing in the documents. The documents is nothing but the a variable that holds all the contents from the PDF. All right. Okay. So then we have the embedding. So now we are um, created the chunk. 
we need to convert them into an embedding. We are using this all mini LN L6 and then we are passing to the chroma DB. So to the chroma DB, we are passing the chunk and the embedding model. Okay. And then we are passing to the retriever. So this chroma DB is uh, passed to the retriever. So, okay. So then we have the large language model. Um, we are uh, calling the large language model through the chat uh, graph functionality. And this temperature variable is an interesting variable which induces creativity to the large language model. So it's zero, so there's no creativity. Okay, so in case like we are generating poetry, like how much creativity we want from the model, we can tweak the numbers. All right, so this is the uh, QA, this is the chain that we are uh, building uh, to interact with the uh, PDF. And this is the main loop. So this while loop will keep running as far as like you interact with the PDF, you just give exit, it will say bye. And uh, otherwise, like if you give any question, it gives the answer. If, you, if it does not know, it says it, uh, it does not know the answer. So that's the part about it. So let us try to interact with our PDF, that is the AC manual. So I'm going to uh, type the question, how to deactivate the auto restart. Let's see like what it gives. Yeah, so it just says these uh, steps. So we'll also check here. So deactivate. Yeah, so these steps are given. So there's no creativity. So it just uh, have uh, given the uh, sentences uh, and it tweaked it and uh, uh, given it here. Okay, so let me give one more question. So what are the modes in AC remote. Let me see what it has given. Okay, so it is only given one mode, but there are 12, uh, there are more modes, I guess. So let me see. Yeah, so these many modes are there, but it is not able to retrieve for some reason. So we can tweak this by either controlling the uh, large language model that we are using or uh, tweaking the embeddings or uh, tweaking the chunks of size that we are passing it's only 500 right maybe that might be one of the reasons so you can try out that so uh, what i wanted to say is that like not always these responses are perfect we can make them perfect by tweaking the code so we will see uh, the how to clean um, air filters i think for this also it was giving multiple answers every time let me see what it is giving this time so unfortunately, the provided content context does not mention how to clean air filters, but uh, unfortunately, the content is there. So let me show you. Yeah, it is there, but it is not able to retrieve it. So, but it was retrieving once. So, let me give this as a query. Let me see if it is able to retrieve. So, for this, it is able to retrieve. So, uh, from the context. So, uh, maybe like, is it getting confused? What I see is that like it is getting confused when the answers are very lengthy. So, may maybe we need to tweak that to get a... A better performance so this is how you like what i wanted to say here is that like this is how you interact with the pdf and if you want a better more uh, better performance we can tweak the uh, large language models or change the chunk size like and finally if we give exit it will say uh, by and it'll exit so this is what i had to say to uh, just talk about the uh, how to build a, a qa bot using the rack concept uh, through grok api so if you have any questions you can post it in the comments like I'll be happy to answer. So thank you so much for watching.